Okay, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, good morning. Um, let's go downstairs, okay? Let's go make a cup of tea. Let's go make some coffee. Let's go make something. Okay, let's go. Hey, friends. <laughs> hi, everybody. It's the beginning of a new vlog. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do this vlog. Tomorrow is an off day of mine, and I want to spend it with my members so tomorrow i kind of want to do a whole spend the day with me going out doing some of the things that i love to do but that's going to be for the member space this part of the vlog is going to be for everybody for everybody um and it might continue on into the weekend but it might not the reason being is because you're going to see this video next week um, the date today is the 3rd of November. You're going to see it on uh, the 13th, Saturday or Sunday, um, because this week I'm actually off from, I was also supposed to be off from filming, but I can never hold myself back. So this weekend is my partner's birthday, my father's birthday. So I'm not quite sure what I will film this weekend. Uh, because those are two people that I never really share on here. Never actually share on here. So I, I don't know. Just keep keep it locked onto my Instagram. Because that's where things happen when they don't make it here. Yeah, but that's where they happen. So follow me on Instagram. While we're at it, I'm going to make some ice water. Because God just loves it. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm trying to decide what I want, how long I want this vlog to be. So if I include the weekend things, it's going to be fairly long. So we're going to use these. What I got as a gift. And because the size is so big, on me it looks like a sweater dress. So I wear it a lot with my leggings. Oh, wow. I tell you, sometimes... This ice cream is exercise, okay? Got this from Typo. In case you're wondering, got it from Typo last year or the year before. I don't know. Somewhere there. But uh, love it. Okay, so we're going to sit down and have a chat. Are we? Yes, yes we are. Let's go somewhere. Let's have a chat. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Hang on, I want to chat to you guys about my book. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're skew or not, but I'm sitting where I normally record because we're going to talk about this and we're sitting next to this. So, doesn't it make sense? I think for me it makes sense. Um, so, the current book that I'm reading, I actually went through a slump. And I remember having a conversation with Charity about it and we were talking about how you know, once you've reached your reading goal for the year, um, you kind of, you get tired, you know, you get tired, you feel like it's not a, it's not something you're looking towards achieving anymore. Now you're just going to be reading because you enjoy to read. And because of that, I struggled a little bit. I struggled to um, pick up a book. But not only that, it's just overwhelming when you have a lot of books that you haven't read um and to pick one and then you read the first 10 20 pages and you're like mm, nah i don't feel like this then you pick another one and then you read the first 10 20 pages of that and you're like nah uh, i don't like this. so i just stopped i i i was so busy with vlogtober that that kept me busy and um now this week i was busy trying to find gifts uh, and buy a couple of things for the birthdays that are coming up this year and we're gonna go discuss all of that upstairs <laughs> a little bit later um, but I recently started reading this so I picked up a few books and I couldn't I couldn't I just couldn't so I recently started reading this and this one sustained my attention it really did and this is the Paul Bearers Club by Paul Tomblay he's French it's French. Okay. Anyway, um, so this follows the life of Art Barbara. Okay. Art is a 17-year-old. Well, the book reads as a... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. The book reads as a 
memoir that is actually a manuscript so it's arts memoir that is a manuscript that is currently being read by a girl named mercy and so a memoir you know spans the author's lifetime right and it starts when art is 17 and at his school he rallies together um he puts out flyers and he rallies together a bunch of um students uh peers um to start this club which is the paul bearers club so he gets people to be interested in the club because he says that it'll look good on the resume and it'll look good to enter into college they are high schoolers at that point they like 17 and he talks about how he um, started this club and in this club they are the ones who go to the funeral homes and mourn and are there to provide support to people who have no one there to mourn them you know so to the people who've passed away that have no one there to mourn them so decades later is when art is writing this memoir and mercy gets a handle on this memoir on this manuscript and starts making adjustments in them and it's so cool because it's written that way i want to see if i can get a page where she's done quite a few uh like for instance here if you see the writing is here and she's writing on the sides of the pages and i find that in i find that so smart and <laughs> and innovative like say here okay like here so the book this is what's written by art and she gets access to to the manuscript and then she writes little notes as in she's correcting him so anyway it's quite interesting i'm about 60 pages in started reading it properly this morning no not this morning yesterday started reading it yesterday um and read a little bit of it this morning as well and what i did this morning is a couple of reels not reels reels youtube shorts um i've done three so far and one is for the hair and one is for my skincare, uh, which is uh, two of the things that I get asked a lot about. So I decided to just cave and do it, but I'll probably edit them later. Those ones are going to go up next week. And um, what else? Oh, man. I When I went through the mental slump about two weeks ago, um, one of the things that I don't share uh, about going through these dark times is the havoc that it physically wreaks on your body and this might be a little bit of a sensitive chat for people who are easily squeamish but one of the things that I do I do two big things when I am going into a slump I start biting the inside of my lip and now at this point I didn't know that it's something that I do I was actually shocked because I was alerted to this by my partner because we spent so much time together. So he would see me just constantly biting the inside of my lip and he, and he would say, why are you biting the inside of your lip? And I, I, don't, know. I don't know. And he's like, why are you anxious? What, 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 what are you thinking? I'm like, I'm not thinking anything. I'm watching the TV, okay? Yeah. Um, but then, really, when I do sit down and think about it, I'm pretty much worried about this or that or overthinking this or that or, you know, and, and that starts happening. Now, another big thing that I start doing, and this is where if you're squeamish, maybe skip this part. Okay, maybe skip this part. Another big thing that I start doing when I start getting anxious and I start slumping is I scratch my body a lot. I scratch it so much that I actually bruise myself and um, I'll just be sitting there and I'll just and I'm, I'm, I'm not aware that I'm actually doing it until I take my legging off and I see the damage and I'm gonna show you what it's like it's gonna appear here so if you can't see it just skip just skip if you can't see it just skip but that is the damage that happened on my body a week ago 
because I was scratching and sometimes it happens on my thigh sometimes it happens on my arm sometimes it happens on my legs it depends and uh, it's one of the things that happens with anxiety because you try to focus so much on something else that you do but you're not aware that you're doing it and you actually it starts um, whatever you're going through in your head starts showing itself physically on your body through what you do and you're not aware that you're doing it um, <clears throat> so for me I realized that I was doing it and um, it's fading now so it's almost a week later it's fading now um, but yeah I tend to wreak a lot of havoc on my body unawares that that's what I'm doing <sighs> annoying uh, it's summertime, okay? I'm trying to slot my, slot myself into bikinis and stuff, okay? I'm not trying to have my body look like I'm... You know? When I'm not. So, anyway. Um, oh, that's something quite sensitive that I shared with you. But I don't mind. That's how we are here. We're authentic. And we're real and we're raw sometimes. Um, so, right now, I'm going to try and make something to eat. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I, I don't know. But I'm going to try and make something to eat. And uh, maybe catch up on the news. Uh, the gender-based violet. <laughs> gender-based violet. The gender-based violence summit and femicide summit is happening currently. Well, yesterday was day two. I don't know if it's, it's finished. But, um... I was up at 2 this morning, um, catching up on it because I haven't had a, a good time to sit and properly watch the news. So I was catching up on it on social media, on News24. I was on my phone from about uh, 2 this morning till about 6 is when I passed out. Um, of course, there were a lot of triggering things that I was reading, uh, very upsetting things. Uh, so I'm going to catch up on the news right now and see what's going on with regards to that, what's been put in place. I believe that um, uh, some money has been put in place to put systems in place that will, I don't know that will what. I feel like, you know, I just, I have thoughts about this. Anyway, uh, oh, actually, keep it locked on here because if you're a reader, I'm giving these away. I'm going to be giving them away. Maybe two at a time. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Maybe three, two, two, two. And um, we, we're going to be giving these away on either here or on Instagram. So if you're a reader, make sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> Let's go, bro. Upstairs now, and I'm having my coffee. It's no longer hot, it's not cold, it's somewhere in the middle where you're not quite sure what's going on with it. I am going to replace that plant, that plant stresses me out, but it's fine. I want to show you some of the things that I got. Some of them are for dad's birthday. I don't want to show you what's in there. If it's already wrapped, I'm not going to show you what's in it, however. I'll show you um, what I did get for them because by the time you see this, they both, their birthdays will have passed. So, let's start with Dad. Ugh. It's wrapped, it's closed. I'm not going to show you what's inside, but it's some teas from Tiger of Sweden. That's one. And. The one that isn't wrapped yet, which I will wrap, is this. My father is a big fan of McCullen whiskey. It's an American whiskey. And Highland 
matured in European and American seasoned oak cost. American oak cost. Okay, so it's an American whiskey that my father enjoys quite a lot. And um, it's not the cheapest thing under the sun. However, he loves it. And I got him that for his birthday. He's been asking me to get it for him. So that's how it looks like. He loves to drink this on like an afternoon or a sounding. The only gift I'm not going to show you is my partner's gift because it's not complete. I need to actually go out and buy the remainder of his gift. Um, but it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. There's a, two, two more things that I need to pick up, which I'll pick up today. But I'll show you the one thing that I did pick up. And then for now, Lady M Official. Okay. <clears throat> This is what I got from Miss M Official, and um, it is a Jo Malone perfume. Now, lady loves perfumes. She absolutely loves them. But this one is extra special because it's engraved with her name, and um, I cannot wait for her to open it. Um, it's simple, you know? It's simple, it's easy. I don't get expensive gifts like my sister does. My sister, my sister kind of goes all the board. Okay, but for me right now, nah, it's not financially sound. However, this is something that I can do for her. And then some, but for now, this is enough. Because there's a couple of things that we want to do in December, me and her. So this. And then for, for the lover. What did I get for the lover? For the lover, there's three pieces to his gift. Um, and one of them is this. So I got him the Mont Blanc Explorer perfume, which is really, really nice. It smells absolutely amazing. And this is one part of the gift set. But I'm going to finish it up today. I'm actually going to step out. When the power goes, I'm going to step out and then go get the two remaining things. And then St. John Dolo. Then I need to wrap and all of that. But that's that's fine. And then for me, because I'm also special. <laughs> no, no, I'm not really. For me, so as you guys know, this is like a dumping site. Okay, this room is like a dumping site for me. And I kind of leave things in here and then I come back for them at a later stage. So two weeks ago, I actually got this. And I realized the other day that, oh my God, I got this. How cute is this? This is a one liter planter. Planter? Jug. Water jug for your plants. And now as you guys know, I've got indoor plants. So these are great. Just for a little sprinkle. And it's just more aesthetically pleasing than like a water jug. <laughs> and I keep saying to myself, than a water bottle. And I keep saying to myself, when are you gonna get this? So this goes a lot with the aesthetic in my kitchen with the white and the wood really really good pick that up from builder's warehouse and i think i got that for about 100 and something i don't know somewhere there uh went into mr price home to pick up candles i picked up five of these uh the two pillars are downstairs and then there's three in here and then um i also picked up the what are those long ones? Those, the ones that go into the candle bras. I forget what they call those ones. Those long slender ones. Picked up those as well, but I've already set them up, so it's fine. Um, and then I'm running out of my king. I'm running out of my cream, my moisturizer. So I picked up this Eucerin um, Aquaporin Deep Long Lasting Hydration day cream okay and it's got spf 25 so well, so we'll see we'll see how it goes but uh oof, the zooming in of this like listen look at me okay boom what boom <coughs> boom i know <laughs> so uh it's pretty good it's pretty good on the on the focus uh, not the zoom in the focus so I got this as something new to try because I've been using skin creamery moisturizers for quite a while even though my skin is at its best right now and I can highly attribute that to my um, what do you call these things my 
La Roche Posay serums, definitely. So I needed a new moisturizer and I was like, okay, well, let's try this. Let's try this. Sir? So I was like, okay, let's try this. Let's see what happens. So I'll let you guys know. Uh, in terms of moisturizers, I'm not really that bothered as long as they are hydrating, anti-aging, which I didn't think of when I picked that up, did I? But as long as they, I'm happy. Um, so that was the one thing. And then, uh, again, it just came because I love it. I love it as a detox. I love it every morning as a way to clean my system out. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then I ran out of uh, cotton buds in my bedroom. So picked those up as well. And then uh, I picked up, hi. I wanted to grab these because I saw these. Okay, I wanted to grab these. These are the Garnier Micellar Reusable Eco Pads. Now, the reason why I wanted to pick these up is because I wanted to try them and see how they are. Wow, they're so cute. Look. Oh, and they're so soft. That is lovely. Okay, I love that. I love that. So I wanted to just take these until I realized that no, they actually come with this. You can't buy them without this. So I had to just kind of pick it up. My favorite one is the coconut one. The, the what's it? Coconut water. I don't know. The one with the with the oil. The oil infused one. No, no not coconut. Yeah. Um, but I had to take this one so that I could get these. So I, I took it. I took it and because I'm someone who wears makeup and who's always working on my skin, cleanses, soothes and removes makeup. So hey. Hey ho sister. Okay. I'm gonna try them out. And then what's new? I think we both we both know, you and me watching this, we all know that I love me some kind of God. And then I topped up again on the what do you call those things? Facial wipes. And then lastly was from at home. And I'm so glad I'm getting to this bag right now because my diffusers are finished. My read diffusers, the liquid and in the inside is finished. And I bought this about a week ago. And I, I still haven't opened them because I wanted to block the whole thing. Anyway, so I came across the at home signature collection. Okay. At home has the sickest, sickest, most amazing selection of diffusers. Read diffusers, candles, it's just, okay. So I came across this one. I smelled it when I was there and I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? So what I typically buy is the uh, uh, refill. I don't buy the thing by itself. I just buy the refill and that's the bottle. How stunning is this bottle? Are you kidding me? Um, and it smells amazing. <gasps> smells so good. It smells so good. I'm going to do that now. Now. When I go downstairs. So I got two of those for downstairs. I got one um, refill as well for my bedroom, which I really like. I like this one. This one is about 100 bucks, And it's a refill for 100 mils um, orchid blue. Really good. Smells really fresh for the summertime. And what I got on special, which I find really interesting, and I'm going to put these next to where I sleep, I got Remedy Rollers. So this is the at-home well-being um, collection. And these are the Remedy Rollers. So it's a roller that you put next to your bed. And then at night, I'm going to use the Calm Down one. And you can sort of put it here, or you can put it wherever your pulse is quite a lot. Here, here, it works really well after a good shower um that's what it looks like smells really nice this one the calm down one is uh it's very lemon grassy actually aromatherapy essential oil blend ylang ylang lemon patchouli and cedar wood love that okay that one smells good but then i think my favorite one for the mornings after your morning shower if you don't feel like going perfume it's not really a replacement for perfume, but you hear you hear what i'm saying there's the remedy roller in awaken and let's try it shall we ah oh, this one smells like the spa bro oh this one smells like the spa this one i think is my favorite one so i'm gonna put these next to where i sleep 
and then use it and then see how that goes, okay? But I need to go refill these, okay? So let's go downstairs or I'll see you downstairs. Uh, hello, hi. Uh, it is Sunday, it's my father's birthday today. And I just finished doing my makeup except my lips because that's always the case. Uh, did my hair and we're gonna head out. I'm not obviously going to carry the camera with me, uh, but I will, you know how it is, you know what it's okay. Uh, I'm just feeling a little bit physically tired because I didn't sleep that well last night. Um, I'm a bit sore, okay, I'm a bit sore, my back is sore and I think it might be my costo, but at the same time I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to carry some medication in the meantime. I wanted to wear a white dress today. And then I tried the dress on. I'll see if I, because I sent my partner a clip of it. So I tried the dress on and I loved it. And I think it's a great dress. But one, the weather is not too friendly. Feels like it's going to change at some point during the day. And two, the dress has a slit that is a little bit inappropriate for family. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think if I'm going out with my friends or if I'm going out with my partner, whatever, it's fine. Like, but for family, I just feel like the slit is far too high and my high up the leg and my grandmother's going to be there and my father's going to be there. It's just a respect thing. So I opted not to wear that particular dress. Although I am going out with my partner later tonight. So maybe I might just throw it on. Um, but for now, I'm just going to wear one of my chilled out easy dresses from uh Fushini. i might slot a belt there and maybe lift it a little bit i don't know it's the really open ones that i'm sure you've seen on this channel i don't know if you haven't uh follow me on instagram you'll see it there but i'll show you before i leave i need to be out of this house in seven minutes which is fine it's more than enough time to change and then we will go but our lunch appointment, so we're going to lunch at the short market, uh, short market, market, the short market club in Rosebank, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I went there with my sister some time ago in winter. I remember it was cold. It was in winter and we had the best time. Got back Liddy, I think I'll see if I can find the video. I was like Liddy and I was like, oh, um. I'll see you guys at home or something like that. But I said something really weird. <laughs> anyway, so that's where we're going today. We're going for lunch, for, for dad's lunch. Uh, got dad's gifts. I shouldn't forget these. And then let's, let's go. Let me go change because time's always. I'm going to wear this. Keep it light. Keep it flirty. But I'm actually thinking of adding a... belt and actually lifting it a little bit but we'll see um you know me it's always comfort over everything else so we'll see ah, not the makeup honey not the makeup chair oh i love this dress oh i love this dress so much let's gonna definitely wear these babies again very comfortable i can have them on all day which is great um and there is a bit of a walk from the parking to oops sorry there is a bit of a walk from the parking space to uh short market so even if i'm wearing heels i do want to be in something comfortable so wedges are great uh i do need to put perfume on my darling first thing to top off the outfit with which would be so cool is this i love it for us it's so adorable Okay, that's cute. All right, so this is the final look. I love it. It's easy. It's neat. It's simple. It's cute. It's okay. Thank you.